Yo! What's good, niggas? We back with that thing. And it went like, wow. Now, I ain't gonna lie to you, dog. It's cold out here in Louisiana, so definitely I got the jack right here on, man. I had to grab something quick. Uh, Cause I heard some heat up here, man. You know, everybody hit on Twitter said, yo, wait, let me get to it. You guys didn't know, Shaq is my favorite center of all time. I don't care who you got, Will, whoever it is, Hakeem. I know Shaq don't put himself the best of all time center-wise, but he's my favorite center of all time. Most dominant center I've ever seen, you know, uh, hands down. And that's my dad's favorite player. So, yeah, and he from Louisiana. Yeah. So, I fuck with Shaq real tough, bro. He got a son named Sharif O'Neal. Cool dude. Uh, real humble. I watched uh, some of his games uh, when they pop up recommendations. But uh, real humble dude, bro. Him and uh, his little son. They look, you wouldn't believe it. Like, one time I went to the, I think I went to the Cavaliers opening game last year. His son approached me and said that he wanted to do a 1v1 against me. And I didn't even know that that was his little brother. I didn't know that was Shaq on the son. You know what I mean? So I'm like, just like, yeah, I'm like okay, bro. You know, just like everybody else. When I found out, I was like, I mean, I sing with his ass, you know. Dude, dude, the short hill. But we're not here to about that. I, I heard Sharif got some heat. You heard people hear me on Twitter. Said, Cash, man, you got to come up here, man. You, you, you got racked in the got some heat, huh? So, um, he is a hype beast. A time when I seen Sharif twice. Boss life with OSN, he was hype beast down. And when I seen him at the, he had off-white one time and he had baby and they, you add it up. Now, I skimmed through the video a little bit, guys. Try to get right right to the point. Cause I seen, uh, yeah, he right here. Okay. We're going to start it right here. Hey! I, I watched a little bit of, oh, I, I forgot the dude, bro. Man, bro, he's the other son that plays on his team. Bro, they both like dominant. They both Shot. like the team like almost Let's 50, go. 50, you know? Yeah. Got the dude like, that tall dude who played on his high school team with. Play. Shit, he cold himself. Hey, I seen him at the uh hey. the camp thing hey. with Boss Light. Like, he's big, not Boss Light. Like, Come on, brother, let's go. Come on, bro, let's go. Come on, bro, let's go. Come on, bro, let's go. What's up? I'm in LA right now. Oh, look at him. Look at him, bro. Supreme down. Oh, man, he these, bro. I got our call out. He can have about three pair of Yeezys. And he going to showcase them like they're rare. How much you want to bet, y'all? It's never hype beast, bro. Literally, they know if you're wearing Yeezys, bro, you got no sauce. Everybody, everybody wearing Yeezys, bro. Chilling after practice. Got to show off the shoe collection. A lot of people ask me, like, what shoes I have? What are my favorite shoes? It's actually two rooms I have. Some of my shoes, it's the office and upstairs. Upstairs is kind of a mess right now. Just trying to move all the shoes Nigga, down here. Messes. I'm just gonna show off my favorite Everybody shoes, what shoes I like to play I in and that. what the shoes mean two to me rooms. and all of that. All right, so. I got two rooms too, you hear me? But you know, this room, with, you know, my LeBron collection right there. My other room when you know, I'm with Jordans and everything, yeah, okay. This okay. is office. It's not too many shoes in here, Sorry, but I'm just know. getting ready to move all of them down. A lot of these shoes are too big. Like these are size 18 right here. God My dad gets me sizes too big because he thinks I'm going to fit into them. Oh, he got some heat, bro. These shoes, these Six shoes are one of my favorite. They're the Peach Jam shoes. These, I didn't play Peach Jam this year. Just got the shoes from one of the players, and I, I played in these. Variety, I think though. actually all I'm of these shoes I've played in. I'm not, he got good variety. not all of them, but most of them. Played in these. This is what when I played Crossroads when I was at Windward. I wore these shoes. That was a couple black. times. I um, February month. Damn, Black Month histories. I'm right. I'm wrong, y'all. I think that was called. Worn them. These are some Jordan bread ones. I played in these uh, and I also it, it, it drew just, all over them. If you're a sneakerhead, bro, you know, everybody got I have got three pairs of these, bro. so I just you decided to play in one. R.I.P. Jack. It's my friend you're not a heavy, you from got elementary school. I lost. R.I.P. to my grandpa. R.I.P. to my uh, friend Vic, who was a friend from Orlando, and R.I.P. Granny. And then I, I wrote so Pressure with the X across of it. Wrote no, no Mercy, SSJ3. Got to keep the Dragon Ball Z things. And then... 
It's hard to hate this dude right here, bro. It's hard. It's hard to hate this. The most, one of the most humble dudes. It did a nigga like DBC. What, you know what I mean? I, like a lot of niggas don't, don't, don't really tell people that, you know, the other people, that, yeah, I want to check about Z, unless you're real tight. You know what I mean? I like that. I wrote a LeBron um, quote. It says, every night on the court, I give it my all. My and if I'm not giving 100%, yeah, then I criticize myself. And I wrote mom on this side, dad. It says calm. So just to look down in my shoes, keep myself calm. So I played in those. Some Jordans I have, I wrote RIP Jack on them. You know, this is like right when I heard that Jack was gone, just I just wrote it on a lot of my shoes. These shoes are special to me. When I was 15, I played in the Vegas tournament with these and I did work. So a lot of these shoes I played in, a lot of them I haven't worn yet. These are a size 17. I still wear oh, these, though. These are some Suicide Squad custom Kyries. They're pretty cool. They say Suicide Squad those. inside of it. Those. I like this part. Like, as you can see, there's shoes that haven't been opened and all of that. Hey, dog, I'll take it back, bro. My nigga, you, you really, I like the way, you know, the collection looking. He ain't got, I don't see all the, I never probably know the room, but this shit looking, it, it, it look a player. Look a plentiful, bro. But, yeah, this is kind of just I like the first part of, brides, of the shoes bro. I brought a lot, down. A lot of hype beast bros you got. A lot of you know, LeBron's, KDs. Jordan, all the better shoes they, are upstairs. They ain't, you know, they got no, no Anthony Davis. They ain't got no type of other basketball players, bro. I, I don't like that, bro. No Paul George, you know my collection. I got all that. First, we can say what's up with the Kier. Here we got Kier's room. Here, I'm gonna install some of your shoes too. So Shakir has some heat, you know. You feel me with these? Yeah, he got some heat, uh, dog. Got two pairs of OVO 12s. Okay, got two pairs of OVO 12s. Kind of dirty. They are kind of dirty. It's all right. The what the Kobe's and the what the Lebrons. Happy back memories, though. My what the LeBron's got robbed when I was living in the trailer. On Thanksgiving break. That's crazy, right? Thanksgiving right around the corner. Last year. Somebody went in my house and robbed my all black fours. And my what the LeBron's. And my landlord went to the other person's house, looked out the fridge. And yeah, the rest is history. Shaq raised some good kids, man. Ain't no fucking hype beat. I, I like that. I, I fuck with this. I fuck with yeah, this. Nah, I like it. Got the Drew League shoes. Got <laughs> the Drew League shoes. You know, the Supremes. Does it say Supreme if you go like this? The R's in the back, though. Here we go to my room now. You, I got the same poster back there, guys, LeBron James poster. So my room is kind of a mess with the shoes. I have shoes in all the boxes and all on the floor and all down there, just trying to move them down. But I'll just show off some more. So here's a second pair of my bread ones. I've worn these a lot. They're kind of creased at the top. And then here's a third pair. These third pairs recently got messed up on my visit. People were stepping on them and all that. Got some OVO 10s playing these a lot. You know, me and Bull had to match the shoes one time. These are probably my favorites. I wore these all year last year. The Kobe Preludes. Man, it's uh, did a lot nice, of shoes. Bro. I got like some it. easy 350, 350 boosts. Got a couple pairs of those. You know, people say it's hard to find. Nah, my nigga, they ain't hard to find. Everybody at mama got them, bro. If you're rich, you got them, bro. Odd Mac, bro. You got no sauce, you got money, you got them. All right? Everybody, bro. Go to a sneaker convention. Everybody and mama got it, bro. My size, my size and those, man, but it was actually pretty sauce, easy. You no, know, got some LeBrons. Haven't really worn these at all. Might play in these this year. Got some laser fours. They're kind of cracking. They're real old. Bro, that's why I never got them cracking shoes, Cracking all on the size. The I mean, no, I keep the running shoes. On lasers, the Vapor Maxes. I like these the a lot. I wear these we almost the every day. Shoes. Got some more Yeezys. The Academy LeBrons, you know, they went to, when I was at camp, 
Yeah, it was a. Damn, I never seen those. A couple pairs of shoes, and these are one of them. Oh, my, I didn't even know my goggles were in here. I've been looking for these. Right. So the academy, it was real fun. Kobe pulled up on it. I see the heat. I see the heat. Why are you saving the best day for last player? I see the crack changes up there. I couldn't get them, y'all. At the point of time, I couldn't afford them when I seen them. That shoe right there, last shoe was going for $4,000. And only a hundred pair was made. My nigga Sharif got him. Why he ain't saving the best for last? A helicopter, that was a surprise. That shit know everything LeBron he got, bro. LeBron and KD came to watch us the last day. Actually, and it was just fun playing. It's two of the best players in the world. Dang, and I talked to LeBron a little bit. Group. And he, we were talking about college. And how, he was asking how everybody in the family's doing. So it was real fun. I think it got me way more prepared for the senior year. You know, there was a lot of college guys there playing. A lot of people to look up to, a lot of people that I could learn from there. These, the Craig Sager shoes, RIP Craig Sager. My nigga, what the fuck you doing wearing them? Huh? You don't wear this shit? Come on, man, you should know better this, man. These are very rare, you know, there's only a hundred pair made in the world. And I got pair number 17. It says my name in it, it says Sharif O'Neal. But Don't worry, man. these are very I rare. I'm only there, wearing them dog. one time. I'm only wearing them man, one time. On, I wore them to my dad's um, statue revealing in, um, at the Staples Center. I think I see Kenny you know, wear them too when I went to a Sager Strong uh, on the tongue. Kenny got a pair of those. Kenny. Just the, the material is very nice and I'm like really pull these is, out. I took I took some pair of myself. It says it on the tag. I don't know if you can see it, but at the bottom it says VIP tree phone. Adidas boost. These are some these I actually made these. Put the roses on there. There are some iron on rose patches, so I just ironed those on there. Thought yeah, I was doing something lazy, cool. Um, I didn't actually play a lot in these. These I are um E Y B O Paul George's say E Y B on the back. Love his rides, man. Um, I like these shoes a lot. I don't know why. I don't. I like them. Too. God, he ain't pick up no pair of fucking curves. I'm fuck with this nigga, bro. I'm fuck with this nigga right here, bro. I'm fuck with him, bro. These are my advantage, but I will oh, start see, no doing curves. that more. I, I see you. More on the academy. We have the academy, Paul George's. I like these, cool. the red suede, the academy patch. That's my favorite part. And LeBron, I like the, the red on blue. Kind of matches the school colors. I just recently got these. These are the easy triple belts. Uh, uh, so I don't wear these a lot. But okay, once it starts getting cold Everybody outside, we got prayer, man. What? I start it. pulling those Let out. Let it go, man. Uh, you know, some van. I see that lotion back there too. That Kleenex bottle. Mmm. I'm trying to hurry up and get this, this video done. I'm trying to get this nigga out the room. Ah. Uh. Hands. Gotta keep Vans, yeah. yeah. Just a casual shoe. I'm trying to show all the shoes that I wear a lot. What coat is that now? Worn these once. I like these a lot. They're just a little too big. Don't um, Kobe, I wore Kobe these look like Kobe uh, day. boxing shoes? The day he played his last game, wore these all day. I, I, I like the way they look though. I never got me a pair of those. That's the only like memory I, I have in the these Kobe shoes. Low, low Charles Barkley actually gave me these. Um, where's the other one? Yeah. I like this one because it has the tag on it, and I don't really wear these a lot, but I like the bottom. It says, here it goes, not a role model, so that's my favorite part of that. I'm going to start wearing these I more. I just clean, never really got clean. to them. You know, more Vans, some pink Vans. I only wear those on, on some days. Got some LeBron, still haven't worn these yet. I like LeBron's a lot. I just never really get to pull them out. Um, you know, Ron Artest actually gave me these. Ron Artest the third, not the OG Ron. You know, I wrote Rosie on the shoe. That's my she girlfriend. Who's the fucking third? Just, yeah, I just wrote her name on the shoe. I was bored. I like these a lot. I like these a lot. These are just flashy shoes I wear when I'm going to like a party or to like a special event or something. Just wear these. 
keep the eyes on me. And that's pretty hey. much all the shoes hey. that I have memories in. The best shoe out right now are Kyrie's. Those are my favorite shoes. Um, yeah, like those are my bro. favorite recent shoes. My favorite like older bro, shoes to play in are probably uh, two, two some type of Kobe or some type of LeBron. And walking around, I say the best shoes are probably Vapor Maxes. I like I like how they look. I like the colorways. And another good shoe is the 750, the Yeezys. Nike and Adidas are taking over right now with the uh. shoes. Under Armour has some crazy shoes too. A lot of other brands have some crazy shoes. I wear a lot of Vans and a lot of flip flops. This is my shoe collection, you know. I think my shoe collection isn't up there with like guys like DJ Khaled and all the other NBA guys, but it's on the it's on the come up. I don't just buy shoes just to buy shoes. You know, I actually have like interest in the design exactly and the what people I, who exactly make them. And my shoes, like the origin they come like, from. Like, I just don't go to the mall to see a shoe. Because it's hyped shoe up that's or the hot shoe just came out. No, like, I, if I like the design that, of it, the color, the like, you know, Yeezys, no, I'm, I'm literally got a big look Kanye strong. fan. So like every time he drops a shoe, I try to get it. And I like but, the design. And I, no, I wasn't really a big Adidas guy, but now I am due to him being on the team. And with Craig Sager, these are actually a gift. I didn't even know these existed until I My woke nigga, up and there's a box. Most he uh, it was a big box, too. I wish I said hi. It's a big Nike box. It had two rows. Easily. And he was a good friend Stop of my dad's. And I met him a couple times. But these are just probably my favorite shoes I've ever had. Some guys have some crazy shoe collections. Michael Jordan obviously has the craziest shoe collection I've ever seen. Duh. DJ Khaled has like stories Duh. in his house from the video I saw. And I'm trying to get like that. You know, by the time I make it pro and by the time like all the stuff starts coming, I'm just going to start collecting shoes more and I'm gonna get a better setup too. I know that setup is very bad. Just gotta get a better setup. It's supposed to be Goku. You know, I got a big painting in my room because I just feel like, I don't know, it's a cool picture. It is. It's a real cool picture. And I'm gonna have three more coming. Everybody asked me why I like Dragon Ball Z so much. So I used to watch when I was little, but it wasn't like such a big impact. But when I first started dunking, it was this old guy. It was like first started dunking. I screamed afterwards. He's like, "You just went Super Saiyan," and I was like, "What?" <laughs> and then, and then I just, like I looked up. I was like, "Oh, it's from Dragon Ball Z." So every time I dunk, I try to scream. It has to be a real hype play, and I scream, and I feel like I've made a big impact on the Dragon Ball Z world. You know, just trying to bring that world he did, closer together. He did low key. Darren Fox is too. If you guys watched, I think it like uh, last month, uh, Darren Fox hit three pointer. Darren Fox said, "Come here, man!" I'm like, oh, look at representing. But um, man, shout out to Sharif O'Neal, bro. Real talk, bro. His his sticker collection, bro. Like to say, you know, he he don't he's not in the NBA yet. You know what I mean? His sticker collection is tough, bro. It's it's it's, it's clean, bro. I gotta give him that. But his little brother did too. I got one question, bro. All right, and that's what we all do, man. What's your collection of shacks? <laughs> Where's your collection of shacks at? Would you go to LA? Your father just don't exist? I'm serious, though. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button now. You guys want more? Send me some more videos to watch, bro. This right here was a dope video. Um, yeah, man, you, you gotta get them shots. <laughs>